Okay, so you're thinking about using red light and or near infrared light therapy at home, but what type of device should you use and why? While there are lots of choices, and I'm an Amazon girl, and a quick search yields a lot of results. Bulbs, small flashlights, wraps, pads, belts, masks, panels, beds, and saunas. These devices can cost between a few dollars to around $3,000. That's a pretty big range. A single bulb, the least expensive option, will be able to only treat a very tiny area on your body, but there is no real power behind the delivery. So even if you had to use it a couple of hours, you probably wouldn't see much of a result. The same is going to go for the small flashlights, wraps, pads, and face masks. Again, they lack the power to effectively and efficiently deliver the light wavelength into the tissue. I will concede that face masks, wraps, and belts could, if used long enough, be moderately effective, but you'll have to still shell out a few hundred dollars for a good one. But for not a lot more, you could invest in a more powerful small panel. Dr. Michael Hamblin is considered the foremost authority on red light therapy. And when asked, what makes a red light therapy treatment effective? His answer, total energy is the most important thing. You need to be able to deliver a therapeutic dose of joules of energy into your body. The panels and the beds not only have enough power, but also have significantly more LED light bulbs whose diodes are larger than the ones used in the pads and the masks. And it takes more power to turn on larger diodes look for an FDA registered device. Don't fall for FDA approved or FDA cleared. None are, except for one red light therapy bed that costs about $65,000. Consistency is the key to red light therapy. This is not something that you want to use sporadically if you would like to see true results. Panels will be more expensive, but also more effective and take less time. What this means for you is that you are going to get a therapeutic dose of light that can penetrate deeply into the tissues to stimulate the mitochondria to produce more ATP, the body's energy source, and also penetrate deeply enough to stimulate the bone marrow to release stem cells to heal the body. Since consistently using red light therapy is key, Panels will allow you to maximize your time, about 15 to 30 minutes a day, depending on your specific target outcomes and using it three to seven days per week. Panels can be easily hung on the back of a door or used with a portable rack system. If you can integrate red light therapy into your lifestyle routine, you will see some truly amazing results. There are over 5,000 clinical studies showing this therapy absolutely works. I'll share my panel picks in the show notes below.